everyone. Welcome back to Reading with Leanne. We are going to read the book Abigail the Whale. This is by David Cowley and Sonia Bugeva. So on the cover of the book, we see a girl with her goggles on. So you could probably guess it's about a girl. Maybe her name is Abigail and she might be going for a swim. Let's open up our book and see what this is about. Wednesday was swimming day. See the girl, she's headed to the pool. Abigail left the change room and squirmed past the shower, trying to avoid the icy water. Then, doo -doo 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 -doo, she counted her way to lane seven. See lane six, lane seven, and it looks like she's meeting her teacher and her other uh, swim mates. Abigail always tried to be last in line because she knew that when she dived in, she would make an enormous wave and everybody would shout, Abigail is a whale. You think the kids are kind of making fun of her? Mm. Doesn't make her feel very good. Abigail hated diving. She also hated swimming. She hated all the strokes. Front crawl, backstroke, breaststroke, the butterfly. She felt like she caused a tsunami every time she moved. She was big and all the other kids teased her saying, Abigail is a whale. When class was over, the swimming teacher talked to Abigail. What's wrong, Abigail? Don't you like swimming? You're a good swimmer, you know. No, I'm too big and heavy. That's not true. That's just what you think. What was he talking about? We are what we think, her teacher said. If you want to swim well, you have to think light. Do you suppose birds or fish think they're too heavy? Of course not. So if you want to feel light, think light, try it. Hmm. Maybe, you know, when Abigail's swimming, if she thinks She's really heavy. She probably won't swim very well. Imagine if you're a fish. If you thought you were a heavy, heavy fish, you'd go And if you thought you were a heavy bird, you would probably go Right? You can't think you're heavy. So maybe she just has to use her imagination. That's a funny idea, thought Abigail but I'll try it. And in the shower, she closed her eyes and began to think, water, 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 W-A-T-E-R. So she's standing in the shower, but maybe she's pretending she's in a jungle with a waterfall. It was strange. Maybe it was just the shower which for once was hot, but suddenly Abigail felt liquid as if she were made of flowing water. So she maybe she's imagining she's a waterfall. By the time Abigail left the pool, it was already dark. Her house wasn't far, so she was allowed to walk home alone, but Sometimes the dark made Abigail feel small and scared. Look at her walking through the dark. Oh, that's the man and the dog we saw earlier. The dog's eyes are kind of glowing. It's kind of scary walking. So tonight, Abigail thought big. She thought giant. She pretend she's really big walking. And it worked. She doesn't feel as scared. It was a brilliant idea. 
Later in bed, Abigail thought of a hedgehog in its burrow, ready to sleep through winter. So she pretends she's a little hedgehog. Do -do 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 -do. Nestle, nestle, nestle. Quick as a wink, she fell asleep. All week, Abigail followed the swim teacher's instructions. She thought of the shining sun, and it worked. She thought kangaroo, boing, and she jumped high in gym class. She thought statue, and she didn't feel the sting when she got the needle. She thought rabbit, and she ate all her carrots at lunch. Elliot smiled at her for the first time ever. So maybe this is like her friend, right? <gasps> hmm. So look at her week at school. It's going really well when she's using her imagination. The following Wednesday, Abigail stepped out of the change room. She thought, stone. She pretends she's a rock so she didn't feel the icy shower. Then as usual, she walked to lane seven. Abigail got in line and waited her turn to die. Then she thought rocket and she entered the water without a splash. Do you remember the big splash in the beginning? Doesn't happen this time. Abigail thought light. Abigail thought sardine, eel, barracuda, shark. And then kayak, she swam the front crawl. Surfboard, she swam the backstroke. Submarine, she swam the breaststroke. Speedboat, she swam the butterfly. So she pretends that she is these sea creatures and then she pretends that she's these machines that go through water. She's doing a great job in swim class. Way to go, Abigail! All the kids in the class were watching. This time, no one shouted, Abigail is a whale. But one of Betty said, you're such a good swimmer now. You should climb from the high diving board. Mm -hmm. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Betty is challenging her to go on the high diving board. Betty's probably only doing this because she thinks Abigail won't be able to make it, right? Mm. So look at Abigail. She goes all the way up and she looks down. Wow, this is a high board. Abigail knew that Betty didn't think she was brave enough to jump from such a height. But Abigail climbed up, up, up to the diving board. She looked at the water. Abigail thought she's going to use her imagination again. She thought very hard. Think of a whale. Nope, even better. Super whale, she thinks, and she jumps. And everyone cheers and mm, look at the water. It splashes right onto Betty. And that is the end of our book over here. Abigail the Whale by David Callie and Sonia Bugema. Thank you so much for reading along with me.